Hey, Dad, uh, what the hell are you doing? Washing the car, Sparky. Getting I've, a little, you know, getting a little buggy. I've, n I've never seen you clean a car before at all. I don't think I ever have. But you know, I've been uh, watching the Electric Performance Race Channel and watching Blake drive around the race car, and uh -huh. I was like, Sparky's a race car, I want it nice and clean, you know? So then I thought, after I'm done washing it down, I thought, uh, wax it up, you know? Get it all shiny, spiffy. Wait, okay, wait, wait, you're gonna wax your car? You've never waxed your car? It, I've never seen you wax a car. When was well, it? No, have I, you ever have, waxed a yes, car before? Yes, I've waxed a when? car. Okay. Uh, you weren't born yet, so it was 1990, one or two. Okay, so we're talking almost 30 years ago. Yeah. 29 years. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember there's something about like you swear. You're never going to wax it ever again. Well, so maybe there's in another Why years. bother? Why use wax? Okay, so what do you recommend? Nanotechnology. Let's Nanotechnology? Let's actually do like let What's since nano? you're in the mood to cover your car in something. Yeah. Well, let's actually put something on there that's gonna last a little bit longer than wax. Okay, what's nanotechnology? There's all sorts of different kinds of coatings you can put on your car. Wait, you're talking about ceramic coatings? Yeah, you can Those do that. Those cost thousands of dollars. Well, they have ones that you can apply yourself. Really? Yeah, let's do, uh, let's try a ceramic coat. All right, let's do an experiment though. Okay. Let's, uh, let's do half of the, of the front uh, trunk here. We'll, we'll put a piece of tape, we'll do half of it in ceramic coat and half without. That way we can show people if it works. Okay, well, before you do any of that, since, uh, since you didn't know anything about washing cars, as a result of that, I don't know anything about washing cars, which Sorry. is why my car is covered in scratches, by the Sorry. way. So I, thanks a lot. I let you down. Um, luckily, I do know someone who knows something about cleaning cars. So why don't you talk to him? Okay. Okay? All right. All right. Cool. I'll go get him. Cool, thanks. Hey, Steven. What you doing? Are you the expert that was sent to help me? I don't know about expert, but uh, All right. pretty pretty fluent in keeping things clean. So Jesse said uh, wax is out and that uh, nanotechnology is in. So do you have any suggestions? Yeah. Have one, King. Ooh, what's this? A do it yourself. What, what do you mean? What, where's the rest of it? Well, well, that's the cool part about it. It's, it's not like your giant wax container over here. Nanotechnology, it's smaller too, you know? Oh, the nano. It, yeah, yeah, I'm the nano, you've got the nano part. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you use dish soap? No. Maybe. Mm, all right. Well, let's get some real car wash soap that has the right pH balance. The and, right pH uh, balance? Yeah. That's important. We, we really? want to take care of your investment here. Okay. That's important. Because um, um, I was thinking we should do a real, since you're talking science here, yeah. uh, let's do it scientifically. Let's mm -hmm. put a piece of tape down the middle. Yeah. We'll do ceramic coating on one side. Okay. Nothing on the other. And then... <laughs> I don't, hey, we're being scientific. And then... So you need tape to do that. Yeah, I got some frog tape over there. Cool. We can use it. And then uh, in a couple weeks, we'll come back. We'll do an update on Tesla Time News to show people how it's doing. All right. In fact, we can do that every couple weeks. I, I mean, I did my car in, all at once, but if this is yours and that's what you want to do, then... Hey. Yeah, it's for science. It's for science. <laughs> let's let's do that. All right. All right, cool. Looks, looking pretty good. All right. Looking so uh, good. I guess next step is put a piece of tape down the middle, right? I mean, yeah. All right. So you want to have a nice, you want to make like a racing stripe? That's, yeah. That's great. Uh, okay, so you're going to need to help me here, I guess. So should I start up there and eyeball it down? I mean, it's, the, the T is easier to find the middle of because right. we know that's the middle. Right. So let's start down here and oh, okay. work our way up. See, like I, this. it's good that we have an expert. Sparky's getting to be a race car at the racing stripe. <laughs> should do it. All right. All right. Uh, Whoa, that's fancy. What? That's it? Well, nano technology. So what, that'll do a whole car. You'd be surprised, wouldn't you? Wow. Oh, it's got its own microfiber. Yeah. You're always, uh, you know, down on me about that. That I don't have enough microfibers in my life. So well, you never have too many. Look at this. Yeah. Are these like what? What are these? What is this? What is this? Gloves? That's for your hands. These are gloves. Yeah. Protect yourself. What? Yeah. Well, how'd you feel about the whole clay bar process? I didn't quite understand it. What, what was the point of that? It seemed like we were just making a mess. Well, how many miles are on Sparky? Uh, over 60,000. Wow. God. Little cross-country trips. Yeah. That'll do it. So, over the span of the time of the mileage, I mean, doing your highway and all that, you're going to have tons of contaminants mm -hmm. and road grime and everything. I mean, think about it. You know, you're driving down the road, you got all these little... Yep. Yeah, yeah, little... Oh, look at this. Would you look at this? Little nicky nicks. Look at this. Yep. Would you look at this? Yeah, so I didn't. I didn't have protected. There's nothing. Well, there's not much you can do about that when a rock flings up from a semi truck. Right. But uh, in terms of the road grime, it's important to ceramic coat it because what that can do is that can pull the 
contaminants out of the clear coat. Think of it like it's a porous material. Okay. Okay. So you want to use a liquefied process and use a clay bar because what it's doing is it's helping peel it off. Oh, that's what we were doing. Yeah. Okay. That makes so, sense. Yeah, it made sense. So it's got it so that we're not just putting this coat over the grime. Right. No, you, you don't want to, this is a semi-permanent process. So gotcha. unless you want to have little bits of road grime built into the car. So could I do this process right after I had the car detailed, for instance? You could do this absolutely, depending on the detail. If the detail included to have the ceramic coat or depending on the condition of your car, paint protection might be something that you want to have done too. But for new cars, this isn't exactly necessary. If you, let's say you, you're just purchasing your brand new Tesla, uh -huh. you, you roll out of the dealership. This is something that you can do after you just give it a wash. Gotcha. All right, so how long have you been shaking that for, Nick? Uh, I've been shaking it for a couple minutes. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna take the applicator sponge and then we're gonna take these microfiber applicators that they've given us and we're gonna wrap the sponge like that. And then we'll be able to apply the armor shield to the sponge like this before we apply it to the car. And uh, you wanna help me? You wanna just uh, grab a pair of those gloves over there? Are you talking about those gardening gloves that you have? Yeah. No, 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 that's not how that works. Wait, what do you mean? You, you need the ni nitrite gloves. Oh, these are special? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, it's, there's nothing wrong with the ceramic coating per se, it's just, this is really sticky. Oh, okay, so, so. you basically gotta wear the right gloves, mm -hmm. okay. So am I doing it right? We just kind of streak it down. Looking great, yeah, yeah, a little slower, don't get too excited here, oh, okay. Mr. Miyagi. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> He's already getting a wax off phase before he really waxes on. Nice. Okay, so, so now you can hear, we gotta start to reapply some more droplets to it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Once it gets dry, mm -hmm. okay. Not bad, Zach, all right. This is your first time. My first time uh, ceramic coating. Look you go. This really seems easy. Yeah, it's not bad. But I see what you mean, the key is to keep it Keep it moving, moving the key and... is also to make sure that you're, you're thorough. I mean, there's a reason why professionals would normally do something like this is because well, most people that wax their own cars miss spots, and then you, you know when they've waxed their cars because after they drive down the street right. a week later, you see all the little white residue everywhere. Now, how long does it take for this to cure? About 24 hours or so. Okay, and so I gotta keep, make sure the weather is, is clear and dry for that yes. time period? Yes, yeah, I mean, it's not something that you do on a, on a rainy day. Okay. I mean, it's kind of like when we were talking about you washing your car. You don't wash your car on a hot and sunny, bright day, why? Uh, I thought you did actually. Okay, so you don't, don't do it, okay. <laughs> no, don't do that. Just tip, tip for the newbies uh, because you don't want to get streaks and water spots. Oh, that's yeah. why I got streaks and water spots. That would do it. Now you're going to want to crisscross this. So the process, now you've gone one way, so now go in another direction. Oh, really? Makes, yeah, you want to make sure that you very thoroughly oh, get all surfaces. Should I put a little more on? Well, kind of, it's kind of like the wax on, wax off process. You know, with wax, you, you do multiple circles because oh. you want to make sure that you're mi missing anything. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so basically you looked up on their chart somewhere, like yeah, on their- So they have a chart okay. that they give you where they say, I mean, if it's 50 degrees, 60 degrees, or 70 to 80, you've either have four to five minutes, two to three minutes, or a minute. Okay, so after a minute, so, which it's been, now what do we do? Now what we're doing is we're going to, do some buffing off. Okay, can I use a microfiber for that? Let's or use this use one. The one they use gave the suede. Us? Okay. The suede, it'll be All nice. Right. And so uh, hard, light, uh, circles? Well, kind of like similar to the waxing process, yeah. Wax off? Mm. This is looking nice. Yeah? I don't think I've ever seen Sparky so shiny. Well, yeah, it does look pretty good, huh? Wow, when you're up close, you really can see a little bit of a difference between the two sides. Now, it's been a few minutes. This has actually already started its bonding. That's all it takes. And so basically 24 hours till it's fully like 24 baked. to 48 hours, you're gonna wanna put it inside, protect it over all elements okay. for a time frame. yeah. Okay. Just have it fully cure. Gotcha. But I mean, as it is right now, I mean, you can see, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not wet anymore. I mean, it's a right. chemical polymer bond. I mean, it is rather quick and it's impressive in what it does. And like you noted earlier, you can see yeah. slightly what the difference is. But once it's all done in unison. It, it almost looks like one side of the front was in the sun and one side wasn't. You yeah, know, like, yeah. yeah. No, it, well, I mean, that's the thing is it, it, it does help just kind of give that high gloss sheen to it. So. I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like in a couple of weeks when we come back and, yeah. and look at well, it. Yeah, well, a couple so. of months, even yeah. a couple of years. I yeah. mean, that's the cool part about it. I mean, this, this is bonded to your clear coat. This is meant to help protect your vehicle. Yeah. No, I mean, the thought of not having to come back and do this in a couple months, like, 
that's kind of my speed. Yeah, so, there you go. That's awesome. Now, I noticed earlier you were uh, wiping it on your sunglasses. Yeah, no, it's great for glass, a lot of materials. Oh, because it's like hydrophobic, it makes yeah. it easier to clean them. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, why not? Thank you to Avalon King and to Armor Shield for sponsoring this video. Uh, you, you parked this under some pine trees? Do you, is that what you want to do? Yeah, I mean, this is science, right? We want to show what happens when uh, half the car is protected and half the car isn't. But I mean, most people aren't gonna, aren't gonna do this. It's for science. Thanks so much for watching Now You Know. We work hard to bring you videos about things that we think you'll find useful, but we need to know from you what you want to see, so leave your comments below. Also, don't forget to go over to our Patreon page, where for as little as a buck a month, you can watch our Patreon bonus story every week on Tesla Time News. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.